Hi, I'm Stephen Ray, founder of Rattling Forks. I like to compare deer to domesticated animals when it comes to determining pecking order. I was raised on a dairy farm, and we generally ran about 100 head of cattle. Through milking twice daily, I came to know each and every cow by its personality. Some were mean, some were skittish, and some could care less. I also came to notice the pecking order among them. This was determined through skirmishes and battles that would occur in the herd every day. The top cows got to come in the barn first for milking and were the first to get fed grain. And the less aggressive subordinates had to wait. So how does this play into rattling? All animals, domestic and wild, have a pecking order. This is good to remember when rattling because the dominant bucks in the area are most likely to be rattled in. He's the top dog, and he will try to kill any buck that threatens his harem and his territory. Also, it can play to your advantage for the lesser bucks on the totem pole because the sound of a big fight will make these bucks think there is an opportunity to sneak in and steal a girlfriend or kick the butt of a buck exhausted from fighting. I personally believe there are certain personalities of bucks that will never come to the horns. Maybe they were injured in a previous fight or wounded by a hunter that rattled them in. Maybe they were just born chicken. Pecking order is nature's way of assuring there are widespread personalities continuing the survival of the species. But you can be sure that rattling forks are an effective tool for bringing in deer of all personalities. And remember, if they don't hear it, they won't come.